From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm John Sable. Jason Adams has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. St. Pete police rushed to Tyrone Square Mall after a 911 caller claims several people were hurt there. But it turns out nothing happened. Investigators say a threat was called into their emergency communication center. And when they responded to the scene, they shut down the mall but found nothing. The mall is now back to normal and officers continue their investigation. New video showing a capsized cargo ship off the coast of Georgia. The Coast Guard not searching right now for four missing crew members after saving 20 people. More than 600 foot carrier was holding cars and trucks inside, but right now it's on its side in the St. Simon Sound. The massive ship was on its way to Baltimore, but it's unclear what went wrong. They have not made any contact with the four members that are still missing, but they hope that they are still somewhere on board. And the death toll rises again in the Bahamas this weekend. 44 people are dead in the wake of Hurricane Dorian. And on Sunday, we were given a grim possibility. The Bahamas health minister saying they believe some victims may never be found because they were washed out to sea. More than 70,000 people are homeless on the island, especially on Abaco, which dealt with Category 5 winds. Now here's Jason with your forecast. And we are talking about hot temperatures and near record highs again to start the week, just like we saw Saturday and Sunday. We'll be into the low to mid 90s. The sea breeze will move inland in the afternoon. Some areas close to the water will cool off by a few degrees later on, but you'll already hit those highs back up into the lower 90s. Futurecast also showing a slight chance to see a few pop up showers and storms, but the chance is only 20%. And that will also be the case for Tuesday. So the bigger story for the next couple of days will certainly be the near record highs. John. All right, Jason, thank you. And don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app.